Good morning, afternoon, or night, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about sweet YouTube views. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to eDog in Japan. I am Emiliano, or eDog, as my friends call me. And before we start today's video, I just wanted to let anyone know who's new to this channel, if this is like the first video you've seen of mine, I'm going to be making a lot more videos starting today, and they're going to focus on either just random daily life topics, stuff about Japan, sort of cinematic videos, reviews of the things that I use to make videos or photography. So if you're interested in the, those types of things, then consider subscribing to my channel, and I'd appreciate it. So the topic for today's video of whether or not I'd make videos for views, like things that I, like if I would make a video because I knew that it was going to make, to get tons of views and I'd be YouTube famous, the idea for the video comes from a conversation that I had with Quico from Life with Quico, and I think it had, it started with the Halloween video. I was asking him like about some things that I could do for Halloween that I think people would find interesting. And he asked me whether or not I would like make videos on YouTube just to get a bunch of views. And I think my answer at the time was yes, I would, as long as I think it's interesting. And I, know, <laughs> and I know that probably isn't the best answer to give on YouTube because it doesn't seem to be a, like a very popular one. But I guess I should explain sort of my, how I think of views on YouTube first. And at least one detail that I think is important to sort of note when I'm trying to explain my views on views, my thoughts on views, is that like, whenever I would watch like YouTubers and they would claim like that they don't care about views or views aren't important to them or they're not making videos to get views, I never really believed the YouTubers that said that. I thought they were lying or trying to maybe deceive people. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but Maybe I'm just too cynical of a person, but in a place like YouTube, it just doesn't... It doesn't fly with me. I don't believe that people are making videos and not caring about views that they get on those videos. Because it's my opinion, like, and not just in things that involve YouTube, like in all areas of life, I think people want or have, like, desire to have, like, what they're doing validated, especially if they're creating something, like, people do on YouTube where they're creating videos and sort of ideas for videos. I think everyone wants that sort of validation for the things they do. And on YouTube, in my mind, that sort of validation comes from the views you get on a video. So for me, the way that I see views on YouTube is that they're kind of like a grade or a score for the video that you make. Like in my opinion, and like if a video gets a bunch of views, then there must be some good quality that it has that people want to watch it. And if you put out a video and no one watches it, then there must be something wrong with the video. There's something that's not interesting. People aren't happy with the quality of the video. Just whatever reason, there's something that isn't working for that video, and that's why it doesn't get views. So that is why the simple answer to the question of whether or not I'd make videos to get views, the simple answer would be yes, I would. And that's because when I make videos or when I'm thinking of topics for videos, like one of the big things that I think about is whether or not people would be interested in the thing that I want to talk about or the place that I want to go because I want to make videos that people enjoy and if no one watches them, then it must not be something that people enjoy watching. And really, I never understood why so many YouTubers are, like, hesitant or just they outright deny that they care about views. It never made sense to me because, like, a lot of people say, no, I'm making videos just because I enjoy making videos, which I believe people do that. I enjoy making the videos that I make and I don't get tons of views because I'm, like, a very small new channel. But I don't think there's anything wrong with, like, making videos because you enjoy making videos, but also wanting people to watch those videos. It seems like a strange thing to deny. And I guess a more complex answer to the question of whether or not I would make a video for views, 
I think it actually required the question to change a bit. I think if the question was, would I make a video just to get views, in that situation I would definitely say no, I wouldn't ever make a video just because I know it's going to get like tons of views. Which is why when I answered Quico's question I said yes, I would make videos for views as long as it's interesting to me. And an example of a video that I wouldn't make even though I know that it gets a lot of views would be like prank videos which I see everywhere and it seems like they get like millions and millions of views or like YouTube channels that have like really crazy personality people where they wear like hats or smash things or scream a lot like although I'm aware that those type of channels and videos are like successful on YouTube view wise I would never make one of those videos because I'm not ever gonna make a video just for views because I don't want to change like my just natural personality I'm not gonna pretend to be someone that I'm not for views so yeah in a situation where it would require me to change my personality even if I knew the video would get a lot of views I would have to say no I'm not gonna make that video but another example of some a situation where I would make a video about something that I'm not super intru into but I know it will get a lot of views because I've been seeing like a lot of thumbnails on YouTube recently of like like fan servicey anime channels and it's just like I don't know like anime titties in the thumbnail and it gets like hundreds of thousands millions of views in that situation I would make a video for views because I have a healthy interest in anime titties and I think the people of YouTube do as well so that last example was about 50% a joke but but a real example of a video that I it's actually a video that was everyone was aware of it was the Halloween video where I was pretty clear and I didn't hide the fact that I wasn't too interested in making a video of like drunk people in Osaka even though people were really interested in it I didn't try and hide the fact that I wasn't so interested in it because I really I don't know I don't care about drunk people dressing up and going not even trick-or-treating just drinking but I was interested in seeing Halloween in Japan just because I never experienced it experienced it before so in that situation it is a video that I guess I know will get views because people asked for it and a lot of people are interested in Halloween but it didn't require me to like pretend to be interested in Halloween in Japan because I was at least curious about what it was like so I would still enjoy making the video even if I wasn't too big on like the whole drinking side of it I think it would have still been fun to make had it not been a complete failure <laughs> had I actually been able to find Halloween in Japan but that's just an example of a video I'd make that yes gets views even though I'm not super interested in it I'm enough interested in it to where I don't have to pretend to be interested in it so hopefully that explanation makes sense in some way but if I had to like simplify it into a easy to understand kind of set of sentences then I would say that yes I would make videos and I do make videos I think for views as long as I think they are interesting but no I wouldn't make videos just for views because I don't want to pretend to be something I'm not and I don't want to pretend to have a personality that I don't have but I do want to make videos that people want to watch and are interested in and hopefully are fun to make so far all of my videos have been fun to make which I guess is lucky but yeah I hope that is a satisfactory answer and easy to understand and I guess a big reason why I also wanted to make this video in addition to the fact that I've been thinking about it a lot since Quico asked me about it is that now that I'm gonna start making videos more often and more seriously I thought it was an important thing to establish that I'm not gonna make like just clickbaity videos I want to make videos that people want to watch so I do want people to watch my videos so I do care about views I'm not gonna deny that ever even though it seems to be a common thing to do but yeah I just thought it'd be important to put out there so that people know what kind of channel this is and you don't 
don't know, maybe if someday I start putting up prank videos and uh, start screaming in all of my videos, you guys could remind me of this video where I said I'm not going to do that. So, <laughs> so keep me away from hypocrisy. And on to a more fun topic, I am going to Mount Shosha today, which is, maybe you've heard of it, it's a place where they filmed a few scenes from The Last Samurai. I'm going there today to try out the Crane 2, get some practice in, because I have no idea how to use it really. It is really cool, it seems pretty simple to use, but I want to get some practice in before I start doing a bunch of stuff with it. And also, the Tokyo trip is most likely going to be Next weekend, I'm going to go to Comic-Con, it seems like that's where I'm leaning towards. And, although no one's really given any strong opinions about anything, if you do want something covered in the Tokyo video, it's probably going to be made into like multiple videos because I'll be doing a lot of things, but if there's like a certain area that you want me to go to, then let me know in the comments or if there's just anything you want to see at Comic-Con or around Tokyo. I'll be there for about three to four days, so you should have a chance to cover it. And, you know, just the usual stuff. If you're interested in any of this video, if you're interested in any of these types of videos that I put out here, or if you watch some of my old stuff, and you want to subscribe, then I'd appreciate the viewership. And, of course, if you have any questions or things you'd like me to make videos on, leave them in the comments. Follow me on Instagram to see some of my photos of Japan and portrait stuff. And you could also message me on there, or comment on my photos and things like that. So, hopefully the next video I will see you in is the Shosha video, even though that's going to be a cinematic video. But I'll see you next time.